So I'm here at the farm with two people who are very near and dear to my heart. To my right, I have my friend Allison Duro, who was at my baptism. And uh, you actually played the piano or you sang, you did something. I played the piano. You played yeah. the piano. And Casey Duro, you were 16, I think, or 15 when I was baptized, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so they both served a mission and you served in Sweden and you served in the Mandarin uh, speaking mission in Anaheim, California. So I felt prompted as we were having dinner here, their flight was canceled. So they... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. It was crazy. But I felt that I wanted to ask them just some impromptu questions about how important was it when you served a mission? And let's start with Allison because um, she's been home the longest and she, she works at the MTC now. So um, what do you do at the MTC? I teach Swedish and I evaluate Swedish. She teaches Sweden, Swedish and she evaluates Swedish. So what does mm -hmm. that mean evaluate? MTC is Missionary Training Center, if you're not familiar with our jargon. <laughs> yeah, so um, <laughs> as an evaluator, if you have previous experience with Swedish, then I can evaluate your Swedish and place you in either the three week program or six week program, or if you're gonna be a Swedish teacher, then I make sure your Swedish is good enough to teach. That's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. I remember when you were applying for that job, so it seemed mm -hmm. just like yesterday. But um, now I guess another thing, the spirit is, we should have started with an opening prayer. I'm sorry we didn't. <laughs> um, but what was it like to be at my baptism? Um, it was cool because there were lots of people there supporting you um, from all different faiths and backgrounds. So I thought it was great that you had yeah. a lot of support. And we had a lot of Catholics there. Yeah. Hmm. And I didn't know you super well yet, yeah. but I had already had a lot of good experiences with you and at our house and at church. Because yeah. so. the sister missionaries, um, used to uh, have your mom have them over for lessons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which was great. Um, so Casey, what he just returned home, like how long ago? Uh, almost three months. Almost three months. So what advice would you have for people who are preparing to serve a mission? It's a big question. Mm. That is a big question. Um, <clears throat> I have a lot of advice, but mm. I think a good place to start would be just looking over preach my gospel mm. um, yeah. that's the there's bugs sorry <laughs> i think they have a they just released a new version new one, yeah. on gospel library so i i can't remember the full name of that one but and when i was on my mission it was preach my gospel a guide to missionary service yes and give your suits to dennis because you'll get larger on your mission <laughs> yeah yeah i got a little bit larger um, so yeah but yeah and I, I tried looking over preach my gospel when I um, before I started my mission, mm. but it just wasn't really interesting. Mm. It's it's not like any stories or or things like that. Um, but me, I think meeting with missionaries and talking with them about it or talking mm. with somebody else about it would be helpful, just to figure out because it's out of that that you're going to be teaching. And of course, sometimes other people you teach will have questions and things like that. Mm. Um, but most of it is is from preach my gospel and it it's inspired so. yeah so i um now working at the mtc what advice would you have for people that are preparing to go to the mtc allison or <laughs> sister doro excuse me <laughs> good question um i agree with what casey said and i'd also add to getting your own testimony to book of mm. mormon because i think the missionaries i've worked with that struggle the most are the ones that are really struggling because they don't even know if what they're teaching is true, true for themselves yeah or if it's something that they has blessed their lives they can see that maybe their parents believe it but they have to recognize is is there truth in this for myself and in my own yeah. life and can that help someone else and is the book of mormon really from god yeah, yeah. and both i i just knowing you personally i i've seen a lot of missionaries who uh, go out on a mission and don't have a testimony and then I'll see them six months later and I can see a glow mm -hmm. um, in their eyes and so we got animals around us don't we I'm just trying to okay no it's all good we're, we're, yeah there's a lot of plants underneath us so uh, but we are at the farm so and I think people that don't have that 
can gain a testimony on a mission, which is which is totally fine too. Mm -hmm. If you don't have a testimony, maybe that's all the reason for you to meet with your bishop and discuss going on a mission. Because I know that um, serving a mission would would give you a testimony, you know. And the sheep, it's their bedtime, so they're saying good night. They're just agreeing with what they're we say. They're agreeing with what we say. <laughs> Feed, and that's in the Come Follow Me lesson this week, is about feeding our sheep. Uh, so this is perfect. Um, or was it last week? I'm all confused. <laughs> so I guess um, we should, are there any other words of wisdom that you got, either one of you would like to leave? Um, just in general? Or yeah. Or? or actually, what was it like for you to be at my baptism? Because a lot of people don't get to meet people that are um, that have attended my baptism because you know there's 91,000 subscribers on YouTube and stuff so um, they obviously weren't all there so what what was it like it was how many years ago was it, it was long six time years ago. ago six years already yeah so and you just turned happy birthday you just turned bit, 22 but <laughs> so but I think just looking back on it um, I think it was cool to see uh, a, a gay person getting baptized because mm. I think growing up, nobody ever like told me, I don't know, I, I guess I, I just didn't really under, I didn't really know that much about these yeah. types of things growing up. I don't think it's anyone's fault or anything, I, yeah. I just was never really exposed. Um, but I mean, recently there's been a lot of discussion yeah. about uh, the, these types of things and i i think it's good to know yeah. that um the doors are open for everybody exactly you know and i got chills when you were saying that casey and and it just reminded me that the spirit is with us and i think um that we need to develop a testimony in our savior jesus christ not in man because man's not perfect and that is is so important but yes there are a lot of discussions about this and you actually had some companions that you taught that were teaching somebody and or there were a lot of people that wanted to leave the church or were inactive because they didn't think we loved and accept it all but i think my biggest advice to them is i joined this church to please god not to please you or you or you mm -hmm. so I don't, as long as still to, teen, not teenagers, but you're in your 20s, my advice is to keep your testimony on the Savior. And if anybody questions you, be, I joined this church for God, not for you, not to please anybody else. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so um, I guess, and, and you're more than welcome to do this in Sweden, and you're more than welcome to do this in Mandarin. But, um, or Cantonese. Was it Cantonese or Mandarin? No, it was Mandarin. Mandarin. Okay, Mandarin. So um, I would love for you to close with your testimony. Me first? Ladies Either first. Either okay. sisters I'll first. Go with, um, <coughs> you have a bad and meet Venus bird at um, good Elskar Allah, who have said, Vem dom är, eller vad dom har gjort, och at Jesus Christus är där för oss alla, och genom hans försoning kan vi få riktig glädje i det här livet, större än någonting annat. Och jag vet att Hormons bok är från Gud och kan hjälpa oss med um, våra svårigheter och um, att hjälpa oss att bli som Jesus Kristus och um, återvända tillbaka till Gud. Och jag säger att det är Jesus Kristus namn. Amen. Amen. I don't know about you. I didn't understand one word she said, but amen. I felt the spirit. You know, but before we go with you, um, Brother Duro, is something that came up to me in that prayer was that you um, had to return home from your mission two months early, was it? Mm -hmm. and, and if you ever get sent home from your mission early, it's not your fault. It's in God's hands. And that I think is so important because I know so many people are returning home early and it you returned home because of COVID and it was a global shutdown and that was out of your hands and it wasn't your fault. But for somebody who has medical issues, 
um, and get sent home early or somebody who um, <clears throat> had a death in their family and they need to come home early. There's no shame in that. And again, you join this church to please God, no one else. So don't care what anybody else thinks. Whether it's in your ward or your congregation or your stake, it's about your relationship with Christ. Yeah. Good. All right. My turn? Yes, Casey. <laughs> Our brother, Elder, Brother Duro. Brother, yeah. I'm so confused. <laughs> I've only known them as Allison and Casey my whole you life. and then it, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's Sister Duro at the MTC and it's yeah. Elder Duro when you're on your mission. So and now I'm just Casey Dora. <laughs> but uh <laughs> Sorry, there's a they're herding a sheep. There's a sheep so there's a, herd, there's a herd there's a sheep. There's a loose sheep. It's right there. Yes. Oh yeah. Now they can see him. Okay. Or her. Sorry. Yeah. A little bit distracted. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so back to your closing with your testimony. <laughs> that is like okay, so Okay. Um do you know, according to Paula, 90% of sheep are gay? No, no, not 90. Not 90? What's the number? <laughs> no, it's, no, it's a longer story. I don't remember the number. Okay. But they did a study on sheep. Okay. About they did a study on sheep. They're also gay. They're gay. Oh, so sheep are gay. <laughs> okay. Not, not many. Though, yeah. Not 90, it's a huge they number. Also, so, they also have to be Okay, so, all right, so we got gay sheep. Okay. <laughs> so, I <laughs> so now Casey can close with his testimony. I don't know how I'm supposed to. Close. Maybe I should. Maybe okay, I okay. should close with mine. Okay, okay. So, um, I know that God is an ever-loving God and an inclusive God, and I know that if Jesus was on this earth today, he'd be ministering to LGBT loved ones and those who feel marginalized. And I know that I have been welcomed in this church with open arms from mm -hmm. Allison and both Casey as fellow eternal brothers and sisters in the gospel. And I know that you can feel the love like I have. If it's not from your church members, it's from our savior. And, but it's not easy. We have to ponder, we have to read scripture. We need to immerse ourselves, And we also need to know when to ask for help or when to get on our knees. And by praying daily and praying consistently, we constantly have the Holy Ghost to be with us as our constant reminder. And I say this as my testimony in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. And before you close, something else, um, seriously, we're not talking about sheep now, but during COVID, um, there was phase one of the temple and nobody was allowed to the temple. And when Casey had his endowment in February of 2021, was it? Yep. Okay. Um, I hadn't been to the temple since March, 2020, just before the lockdown. And his mother reached out to me and said, would you like to be one of the six people that are allowed to go? Because they only allowed six people. And it was such a blessing to be a part of of Casey's endowment. And Allison received her endowment um, a couple, about three weeks after I had my endowment, but she received it with her grandmother in Portland, Oregon. And in August of 2018, and her mother and I weren't able to go to Portland, but we ended up going to the Hartford Temple and we did a session the same time that Allison had her endowment. And then we FaceTimed her and when we left the temple and so it was a beautiful experience i have those memories that so i feel like i attended your endowment even mm -hmm. though i wasn't physically in the portland oregon temple but um and your grandmother has said grandma doro has such since passed away and um being at her funeral was a blessing for me and i know you weren't able to attend but because um, you were on your mission and your grandmother would have wanted you to stay on your mission for that. I know that. Um, so we went on a little tangent, but I felt that somebody needed to hear this and that's why I went on a little tangent. So, all right, Elder, our brother, Dor Casey, your testimony. All right. Um, I want to share my testimony. 
，我知道跟随耶稣基督会带来祝福。我知道这个福音可以可以帮助每一个人过更好的生活。然后我，嗯、um, ，It's been almost three months, so I'm forgetting a little bit. Oh, but 呃、uh, ，我有有时候。呃，有一点难相信神存在，啊、嗯，有有时候我们有挑战，嗯，但是我我相信神存在，我相信我们祈祷的时候他，他他会听到我们说的话，啊、嗯，还有我我也相信耶稣基督爱我们，还有他他呃赎我们的罪，嗯，还有我。我很爱摩尔门经，呃，因为我我看摩尔门经，经常感受到一个很特别的感觉，嗯，还有我我真的相信是神的话，神的话语，还有这是我我的见证，我说这样奉耶稣基督的名，阿门，阿门， Thank you both for not only serving but allowing me in your family. And feeling like I am, their mother is like one of my best friends, Kit Doro, and and she cooked at my baptism for <laughs> all the hundreds of people that were there. So、um, it was a blessing, and you guys mean a lot, and we will always be eternal brothers and family,、uh, brothers and sisters, as we strive to keep the commandments. Do we have sheep behind us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gay sheep. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Only at Paula's farm. <laughs> okay. So, well,、um, thank you for joining us, and leave a comment so that they can read it. Something uplifting. Bear your testimony and share it with the world. Bye for now.